And now I want you to stop this video because we're going to have another application questions. So now I want you to stop the video. You will have the screenshot. So now you got the screenshot. Before you will stop the video trying to be honest as possible with this questionnaire. Okay? And trying to make sure that you will save these results as well in a notepad, in a notebook, because we are going to come back to it later. Anyway, hopefully everything went well with the questionnaire. Now we're going to keep moving on. And now we're going to talk about the circadian sleep patterns. Here is when we're going to talk about our really good friend cortisol, as well melatonin. So cortisol, it got a bad reputation in our society at the moment because it's linked with stress. And I totally understand that. But cortisol is not that bad as we think. It's bad when we are keeping a peak and really all the time high cortisol levels through the day. But cortisol, as you can see here, as soon as we wake up and see the sunlight, the cortisol is going to increase. So around 6 in the morning, 5 in the morning, it's going to increase slowly and then it's going to be on a peak level. So it's going to be on the top. But pretty much what many people do, and um, that's as well is going to be linked of how, be, how good you've been sleeping during the night, is going to be that it's going to keep all the time on the top, which is not really good. But if you are here, and then if you are sleeping properly and you're having really good quality and good hygiene, it's going to go to the top in the morning, but then it slowly it's going to decrease as the day is going on. And then when it's going down, is when is the optimal time because as you can see the process of the circadian sleep patterns is going to be that in the morning when you're having a really high cortisol level is going to accelerate the activity in your body so you will be more willing to do many things you will be more focused you will have more energy and i'm talking here about a person who is sleeping really good is following all the patterns for a quality and hygiene of sleep so a normal cortisol level have to go up in the morning but then slowly through the day it need to drop because between 3 to 6 p.m. is when you will decelerate a bit more. You will feel a bit more tired. Not that tired, but you feel a bit more tired. And then between 6 to 9 is when you are starting winding down. Is when you will, you will feel that you did enough for the day and then you are starting backing off where it's going to be the activity. And then from 9 to 12 and then 3 a.m., 6 a.m. is when all the complex process is going to appear. If you are following everything, you will do the physical repair as well the physiological repair so that's everything that is happening through your body through the day it's crazy but it is like this okay guys so cortisol is your friend as long as you know how to do it and then we're going to talk about this and how we can try to manage these cortisol levels let's go and move on now i know